So Arsenal got their first loss of the season, uh, losing 3-1 to Manchester United. Um, it was a game which I can say we played well. Um, we tried to play the we tried to play high line throughout you know majority of the match, and it kind of backfired on us. Um, first thing I want to say about the game was the first goal that we should have got in my opinion. So Odegaard's tackle on Eriksson. Um, I don't know how. It's a soft free, if anything. Um, to me, it's not. It's not a foul. Um, it should have been one. One of those. Um, in the first half, and Martinelli um had his nice little chip over uh, De Gea. Um, but you know the ref wasn't having it today. Um, for those sort of tackles, and obviously went to VAR. So you know, it just that kind of look wasn't with us today. Um, then you know we were pressing United a lot in the first half. Um, we had United on the back foot. I could see though that that with our high line that United were going to eventually get in behind and get get a chance or a half chance, which they did. Um so for the first goal Sinchenko was that was kinda of caught out of position. Um could kinda of see it happening before the game, Paul Morrison mentioned it, um that, you know, defending wise he's not the best, but going forward, you know, that is his that is his um prime attribute. So yeah, Anthony got his first goal uh, for United. Um, seemed like a decent player, um, definitely today anyway. But yeah, United went in one and a half time. I felt like Arsenal were going to come back in the second half. I felt like we were the better team. Um, we had a lot of a lot of presence up front, like uh, Jesus and Martinelli. Thought, you know, if we didn't if we didn't lose today, I would have given man the match. To Jesus, um, just how strong he is, and he's not the biggest of guys. You know, he's only about five foot nine, but he's so strong when when the ball comes to his feet. You know, um, and holding off centre backs, he's holding off Fran very well today. But yeah, start of the second half, we were dominant for the first 15, 20 minutes. You know, he didn't really even get a touch of the of the ball um, in our half. So yeah, um, then Saka scored um, kind of a scrappy enough goal. Um, Puzz back in the league, sorry, but was back in the game as a one all. Um, I thought at that point when the fans, I could hear Arsenal fans um, cheering. I, I thought that you know we were gonna we're gonna we're gonna get the win. Um, we were gonna score a second, but no, it wasn't to be. Um, it was um, sorry. Um, I think Ericsson played the ball through and uh, Rashford scored. Rashford scored and that kind of I think caught us by surprise in a way. Um, kind of throws off guard. Um, but again, like I was playing the high line throughout the match, and I could I couldn't really blame us playing the high line because we were so dominant at United today. We were so dominant. Um, United defended well. To be fair to them, they they had a lot of time. They had ten men behind the ball or eleven men, whatever. And yeah, just we we played our high line. Eriksson I think played the ball to Rashford uh, in behind the defense, and yeah, he slotted it away. To make a two one to United, um, I thought what really lost the game for us was Arteta's chains, bringing on three uh, three players at once. I can understand in a way that you know he wanted to get a reaction from the players. He wanted he wanted a result today. He wanted a result. Um, but yeah, we brought on um, Vera he, Vera. He made his debut today, and Ketia and Smith Rowe also came on. I'm pretty sure. Those three players came on and they really didn't have um they really didn't have a game because the second they came on, you know he went in and Rashford Rashford got a second. Um we were so out of position, like we were so open at the fence, it was crazy. Even Gary Neville mentioned it. But yeah, like I said, those three players came on and then it was basically three one to United and they couldn't really do much. Ronaldo was on the pitch as well, so they had that threat up front and yeah, United were just throwing bodies behind um or in front of the goal like so, you know, usually with Arsenal, when we lose games, you know, I can say, like, oh, I'm upset and it kind of ruins my weekend. But I can't really say I was too upset with the, with the loss. Like, yeah, obviously it would have been nice to, you know, get a result there at United and, you know, continue, you know, our unbeaten streak. Um, but we were the better team today and we lost. And that's football, like, you know. Um, so, yeah, I think... There is a lot of promise at Arsenal at the moment, but what we have to also consider is 
you know, in football, it's very easy to lose one game and have a good performance, but then lose your next game and then lose your next... It's very easy to get into that little um, kind of uh, rhythm of or that streak of losses, like, you know. But all in all, it was a good performance by Arsenal today. I am not happy res- with the result, obviously. Um, but yeah, um, I think fair play to United. They went out there with a game plan and it worked. And yeah, we... We just we just just didn't work for us today, and um, but I have to say like Jesus, Martinelli, they look they look brilliant. Those two Brazilian boys, they have to be on the they have to be on the Brazil World Cup team um, or panel anyway, and um, they're just they're just too good at the moment not to be on it um, for the World Cup. But except for that, um, yeah, I thought the attack was attack was good today. Saka didn't have a great game, even though he scored. I think he could have. He has to step it up a little bit more, in my opinion. The defense. I don't want to be too hard on defense because again we were we were doing a lot of domination on United today and we had a high line, so it was it was it was. It, I don't want to be too critical on him because you know because we were dominant and all, but they should have been better for the goals that we conceded. They shouldn't have been so open at the back. Um, but yeah, um, I think we're play, I think it's Europa League next week. Um, I might be wrong with that. I'm sorry. I'm. Um, I know you. I I know that we made a draw for Europa League and Champions League earlier on in the week. So I think it's Europa League next week. Um, but yeah, um, good performance by Arsenal, but obviously not the result we wanted.